And I want to send things over to my colleague Sydney Persing. Sydney, you used to work in this area. You actually came to us here in Dallas from Florida. I know you've been talking to people over there. What have you been hearing? Yeah, it's uh, really tough to watch all of this. So this morning when we saw what was happening and, and that this was really going to go towards southwest Florida, my first call was to a pastor. His name is David Acton. He runs a church in Cape Coral. He, like many others, chose not to follow those mandatory evacuations. We chatted before the worst of this storm while he still had power and battery. I interviewed Pastor Acton regularly in my three years living and working in Fort Myers, and I know in dark times he always finds a bright side. The bright side of Ian so far, he told me, is how he saw his neighbors step up up until the very last moment when Ian hit. We personally, we were putting up shelters at, at the homes of uh, some of our senior members uh, that couldn't do it themselves. Uh, you know, they were just in tears uh, thanking us. It was, it was beautiful. We were paid in chocolate chip cookies <laughs> and thank yous, but it was a wonderful day. So, so folks right up to the end were reaching out to their neighbors and, and really doing whatever had to be done. There are so many good folks there in Fort Myers and Cape Coral. Again, that chat with Pastor Acton, it was well before the worst of this storm hit. I want to show you where Pastor Acton is now live in relation to where Ian is. I mentioned he was in Cape Coral. That is right above Fort Myers Beach, south of Charlotte County. Uh, again, a really tough time for him and his family. We hope they are okay and that they are safe. Uh, no doubt all of Southwest Florida is really going to need that neighborly love uh, Pastor Acton mentioned, not only right now, but for several days and weeks to come.